Hi, my name's Joe, and uh, I'm here uh, representing Lego to Nano. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a PhD student at UCL, University College London, so I'm based here in London, grew up here in London, and uh, I'm here to talk to you today about atomic force microscopes for school children. So an atomic force microscope is a special type of microscope that uh, feels a sample instead of looking at a sample. So much like a blind person might read braille and feel the dots beneath their finger, this microscope works by feeling the surface of a sample. And it does that at a very, very small scale. So it moves the sample with nanometer accuracy and it feels the changes in height with nanometer accuracy. So that's how they, they work and that's how they produce images of such small, uh, of such small things like atoms or molecules. So LEGO to Nano is, a, is an ongoing project that started as a, basically a series of hacking events where we got students from the UK and from China to work on trying to build a low-cost open source atomic force microscope. Um, the reason there's LEGO involved is that uh, we originally worked in, in partnership with the LEGO Foundation who try and encourage studies into hands-on learning and hands-on um, science. So that's why they were interested in us and that's why we're interested in them in that we're trying to develop a tool that allows school children to learn about science by doing science themselves rather than reading in a textbook or looking at a teacher doing something. We want them to build their own instruments and then take their own uh, data and perform their own experiments, make their own questions. Maybe you've seen the, the, the pictures of the smog in places like Beijing. Um, it's obviously a, a, a big controversial area that people who live in Beijing, including children, are worried about. And so one of the first things they wanted to look at was pollution. Um, so we, we, we gave them a, a substrate and we just let them leave it outside for a little bit and then bring it and brought it under the microscope and, and took an image of it. And uh, they were able to see that some pollution particles were long and thin, some were round, some were rough, some were smooth. So this, this is a, these are the kind of things that people could look at with this, this microscope. Um, so in the long run, we're hoping that people can get involved by building their own instruments, by doing their own experiments, and also by sharing their data with other people who have these instruments. Um, so actually formulating your own scientific questions and trying to recruit other people all over the world who have these tools as well to help answer these scientific questions. So uh, in the short run, email us, go on our website, Come and, you know, come and find us and talk to us. Hopefully, you know, in the next six months to a year, uh, build your own atomic force microscope, take your own measurements and, and share that data.